Hey everybody, it's Stephanie. I just wanted to share um, real quick with you my latest mini album. I finished this one, I started working on it I think Friday and I finished it Saturday night. Um, and I have been on a mini album kick lately. And um, I'll show you the next one that I'm working on. I only have the covers done. <laughs> So there's not much to show, but um, anywho, this is just the Michaels, um, one of those dollar chipboard albums that we they had out last year um, with the tabs on it. I think I use one, two, I think I use seven pages in here, and um, the paper line is DCWV uh, Black Current. And let me see if I can bring that up and at least squeeze a little bit in. I think you've all seen this. Um, it's been out for a while and I've been hoarding it. I just haven't used it. But um, I've got all the scraps and stuff kind of hanging out here. So I don't want to try and open it. But there's pretty much all the papers in it. So pretty. I love the... It's not quite purple and it's not quite pink. It's a... I'm not sure what color you'd call that, but it's beautiful. Maybe current. That might be why they named it that, Stephanie. Oh, it's been one of those days, and I have a headache, so forgive any silliness or anything stupid that flies out of my mouth. Um, so, let's see. More about it, more about it. Oh, I used my um, Find It All for this one, and... These two flowers, the big ones, are from the Prima paint can that I got at Tuesday morning. Um, it's this one right here. And um, I just used a purple and, sorry I'm moving the camera, a purple and that kind of pinky purple. And this flower on the top is one of the recollections uh, that was in the jar. Um, boutique Fleur, I think they're called. And I'm not real happy because I think I see now why they were on clearance because the diamond dust keeps coming off. And not because I'm sitting here doing this, but I mean, you know, just gluing it down, the diamond dust just scattered all over the place. So, but it's still beautiful nonetheless and it matched perfectly. And this, um, Kind of burgundy with some pink tones in it. Uh, this sheer ribbon that I've got. I didn't actually tie anything and put it in here. I kind of cheated uh, because this was part of a big ribbon scrap that my church, um, every Mother's Day, they do these really beautiful um, single rose um, arrangements, I guess. And, um, you know, for all of the ladies at the church, and last year, um, Mother's Day 2010, it had a gold lame ribbon with, uh, mixed with this sheer kind of burgundy pink ribbon, and I knew I had to save both ribbons, and so they've been sitting in my little scrap box, and um, I thought it matched perfectly, so I just kind of folded it over and stapled it with my um, Tim Holtz tiny attacher and I did that to make the two loops at the top and then um, did the tails at the bottom and singed the bottom uh, with a lighter so that um, the ribbon won't fray over time and then I have a Kay and Company Life's Journey um, silver key right here and this um, lace and pearl bling all right here I cut apart it was the recollections and I just cut it to put it across the top because this paper has a lot of really really pretty foil to it and it's glittery or not glittery but um, shiny you know glitzy enough I didn't want to add too too much um, plus it's kind of busy you know with all of the stuff going on on the 
paper and I didn't want anything to get lost in there like that key. You just really can't see it too well, but anywho, um, I've got, what is this? A keyhole. Um, Tim Holtz keyhole here, um, just hot glued to the front because I always forget to punch you know think about closure whatever you want to put on the front that needs you know holes punch for brad in the paper not necessarily if it has to go through the chipboard but at least in the paper and I always forget to do that um, so the brads are just in there and then the backs folded over and I hot glued the thing on um, page one uh, oops sorry um, I've got this pleated trim came in a rack from Melissa Queen B 063 hey Melissa and um, this I layered this is just black cardstock back here I made a little pocket and then I layered the um, ivory pleated ribbon with a um, pink sheer ribbon and that pink sheer ribbon was on a roll that um, I think it was at Christmas time um, I got it for like 40 cents for the roll you know when they went everything went clearance and I thought well come on you know pink I use that all the time it's my favorite color not necessarily you know it doesn't scream Christmas um, anywho I'm babbling it's the headache <laughs> And then I just put um, black grosgrain ribbon across the top uh, just to kind of layer it. And these little pearl thingy medeelis here are oops, wait, um, making memories vintage findings. I picked these up at um, Aaron's, no, Aaron Brothers uh, frames. They had them on clearance, and I'd picked those up and thought they were really cute and I just tacked them on the end here and I've just got two uh, plain little photo mats with the pattern paper and I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up or not but whoa maybe if I quit shaking it across the top here I did some O stitching with where is it at this my jelly roll pen and what color it's in rose star and it's really pretty kind of purpley pinky matched perfectly but when it dried it had kind of a I don't know gold and silver with just a teeny bit of the pink purple showing through so I had to go over it a couple of times, but I thought, you know, just the plain cardstock was just a little too plain. So um, I tried to go around all of the photo mats where there's just plain cardstock with either my white jelly roll pen or with um, this purple pink one. And there's some more of that sheer organza ribbon, so pretty. Um, and I stamped on the back with uh, white stays on. Uh, just a journaling spot and here's the other one some of the ribbon that I use um, the, sorry the black grosgrain ribbon and this I stamped in silver um, stays on on the back and um, I went around every single page with black soot distress ink and the next page is, whoa, I've got the um, little mini rosette and pearl trim that I picked up at Hobby Lobby in black. And I just did a, um, let me take the photo mats out, a plain black cardstock um, photo mat and did some decorative punching on the edges and um, some more you know outlining with that um, jelly roll pen 
and then I took a strip of the paper that has um, a bunch of these border strips in it and just ran it across the front and only glued down the sides to make like a little belly band and did um, a photo mat with some more of the gray pattern paper and this time I did the faux stitching um, with the white pen and stamped on the back and stays on uh, silver and that just tucks in here and the um, ribbon trim helps hold that little photo mat in and then I've got a bigger photo mat in the back um, and I just hand drew um, the journaling lines with my white gel pen and used my McGill um, tab file tab punch up here at the top and let's see the next page. I wonder if this thing will sit in the back and help me hold it. Yeah. This page really tickled me to pieces. I finally used my um, magnets, the basic gray magnets. Oops, sorry for the glare. And did a, like a little trifold. Um, I just used a little glittery brad here and some of the pattern paper and did just like a little trifold um, for photos and put the mat in. Did some decorative punching with my Martha Stewart punches. And um, behind it here is another little photo mat or the paper. I tried to use like this gray so they can either do a photo on the back. Um, instead of doing journaling because that is black card stock um, and do journaling like you could see on the front because it's just a really light gray but I really like how this turned out I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do with this album I was just having fun and a little magnet there and this I used my Martha Stewart punch around the page and um, put some little bling and some pearl down around the corners. There's no pocket or tag or anything here, it's just plain. And the next page I did um, another little frame with the Martha Stewart punch around the page. I really like that punch, so cute. And I used one of the recollection blings with the um, gray butterflies and just cut it up and kind of accent it around the edges there. And this page was so cute, I wanted to just leave it as it was, um, except I did add some little fuchsia um, bling in the center of the flowers. And then I've got another pocket over here with the pattern paper. I backed it with um, some black chipboard that I um, used another Martha Stewart punch just to give some accent at the top and I also used my white gel pen and here's the photo mat with some more of that um, sheer organza I really love that and did some more doodling with the pink purple Sakura jelly roll pen and some more stamping and journaling on the back next page um, use my threading water um, whiskers punch and just made a corner pocket here um, back that uh, so you can accent the um, scallop punch uh, back that with some black card stock and here's the photo mat with some decorative punching this is also a Fisker's punch, um, some grosgrain ribbon attached, and I went around the whole thing, just outlined it with my white jelly roll pen, and then more journaling stamping on the back. And just a plain photo mat here, no tag or anything. Um, I really like that paper, that foil look, so I didn't do too much to that page. And this page is an, um, oops, sorry. This page is a black envelope. And um, I just uh, out did the pattern paper and put a vintage pearl button here. 
and big photo mat with the paper that was on the front cover and another uh, McGill file tab punch and some hand drawn journaling lines and then the back of that this is the uh, flap for the envelope and um, I just backed it with black cardstock and some of the pattern paper. I'm going to try not to move that pattern paper because it's polka dot and it'll make me nauseous. Um, <laughs> it's real cute though, but if I stare at it too long, ugh, I need Dramamine. Um, a pearl, vintage pearl button and some more of the pretty foil paper and just some plain uh, gray and I used my threading water punch again and here is that vintage black and cream um, polka dot with um, some pearl trim in the corners uh, what was left of that recollections that I used on the front cover and this was the border page I was talking about where I cut the little band out and used it like a belly band um, I just left this page alone to just do whatever on it and let me fold this under the last page um, is plain just a plain photo mat I used um, I've had these in my stash forever and I don't know where they came from but they're silk flowers and I just took pink and purple and folded them in half and this was actually it's a um, older line from K and Company it's had a cream colored flat brad in the middle of it and the paper was very um, craft cardstock color with the silver and I just I don't know if you can see that but I just went around the whole thing with the black soot distressing just to darken up that paper a little bit um, and then put a purple um, pearl brad in the center and then did some doodling um, on the corners and put some little gray bling that you really can't see because it's on black cardstock and whoa sorry there's the back page just plain purpley pinky color but that is my mini album and I had so much fun making this I can't believe how quickly my mini albums are coming together um, I'm just really tickled doing this I think I finally found my groove and the next mini album I've got the cover done and it's all grunged up and this is just plain chipboard this was actually um, uh, you know the legal um, notepads this is the chipboard off the back of it and um, I was just playing around with the I used two different colors of paint to get that kind of peachy antique peach looking color and um, I was, wasn't sure how it was going to turn out so I didn't want to use my actual chipboard chipboard that I bought from Joann's so I just used this stuff but it came out good so I think I'm going to keep it um, but this is the crackle technique with the Elmer's glue and it turned out fabulous and I even um, did the you know where you hold the heat gun too close and it bubbles up and then you know goes back down and you get these rumples and bumples in it um, like true weathered paint and it was really cool I had a lot of fun doing this and then went around the edges with um, yeah walnut stain distress ink and then did the very edges with black soot and um, I think I'm still playing around with this but I think this is going to be a paper bag mini album and the paper line I'm going to use is um, basic gray curio 
because I've been hoarding this too and thought okay you know what I need to use what I have and it's gonna hurt me to cut this paper and I know I'm probably gonna cry a few times but you know what I'll get over it and if I have to I'll order more <laughs> but I am having so much fun um, I hope you guys are having a good time and you're having a great week I know it's only Tuesday but we still have plenty of week left and plenty of fun. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.